Hello, little boys and girls. This is the wing that is always coming to you live. Being derpy as ever. Uh, we're on the hunt to continue our fill, right? Right, yes. That's what we were doing. That's uh, what we got going on. Uh, it looks like we have roughly five or so shulkers left, if I had to guess. So we got one, two, three, four. Ooh. Uh, can we combine that one? Yes, we can. Perfecto. All right, so let's take all those four, five, and a half. So we got five and a half boxes left to fill here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's buckle ourselves in and start this new year off right with some good old-fashioned sand stone digging. Now, we have almost reached capacity, which hopefully we will hit in this episode, I think. That would be a magical, magical thing, and uh, we're hoping that we get there. We need to fill up all of those shulker boxes that we have, plus a little bit in our inventory before we are able to head back. The reason for that is very simple. This desert is like 15,000 blocks away from where our little humble abode is, right? And it is, it's, that's far, right? Even for a flight, it is it's far. So, at some point, we are definitely going to need uh, to produce another tunnel over here and make that happen. Probably in a live stream, because uh, it's going to take a lot of time, and it's something that we're going to need to do quite regularly. Because the amount of sad sand stone that we need is truly staggering. So, we're going to heal, just chill over here for a little while. And keep collecting all this delicious and delectable sandstone. And then we're going to have to find a way of smelting each and every single piece that we gather here and to turn it into smooth sandstone. Maybe not every piece. Um, we can probably and potentially use the variants here just to add a little bit of texture to it. So, we'll, we'll see. But uh, we got five boxes left here and I'm hoping it will not take us that long. I would love to get back to our base to start building and, you know, all of those things again. But, we'll see. We're just going to play it by ear one day at a freaking time, and we're just going to make it work. That's how we go. That's how we've been doing this series since the freaking beginning, and that's how we will continue to do this series, uh, I guess, until the point where I stop making it. <laughs> Which, by the way, I, I have zero intention of doing, just so you guys know. Zero intention of stopping anytime soon. Uh, we have, at minimum, another six months of daily videos before anything changes. So, we're gonna make that happen, alright? Gonna freaking make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do still hope we brought enough picks. There's a very good chance that we did not, and that's okay. Uh, we also have to remember to collect a little bit... Ooh, full. Uh, we have to remember to collect a little bit of cacti so that we can set up a cactus farm once we return from our adventure over here, right? Right. As you can see, though, we, we're kind of scarring the landscape here, and I, I know it may offend some of you. I get it. I understand. But I'm doing it in such a way that this just will no longer look like a desert, because we are going to extrapolate probably every single piece of sandstone and every piece of sand in this whole entire desert. And so it won't look out of place. It won't be scarred, and you know we can we could potentially do something weird with it, right? Right. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know. 
Regardless, we are digging away until all of our boxes are full and we actually have the required materials to start building, or at least make a little bit of a dent in the build. Now, I know I've been collecting some weird blocks lately, such as red glazed terracotta and green glazed terracotta and a few regular terracottas. I know I've been collecting some, uh, some weird blocks lately, and I'm excited that we will get to use those very, very soon. There's not much more digging in all of the area that I want done. And I believe we are far enough along now that we are able to actually start. Uh, start with the buildings on the outsides and the market square and all of that. Which means we will get to set up our very first actual farm. Be automated. It'll be great. It'll be wonderful. Gotta go repair our pick real quick. Because... Do not want to lose these. At the moment, without an XP farm, they are very, very precious materials to us. And we don't want to risk that, right? So, uh, that is the reason for it. And we're making sure that we do not break any of our beautiful picks here. But I'm looking forward to using a lot of uh, weird blocks that I've never really built with before. Now, I've built with sandstone, of course, and dark oak, of course. But, copper? Never. Cherry wood? Never. Uh, deep slate with those things? Never. So it's going to be very interesting to see what comes of this, honestly. Um, I don't think we're going to go down there. To be, to be quite honest with you, I don't think we're going to do that. And I just want to kind of get this out of the way real quick. Just because I don't really want it here. Uh, I mean, that's probably okay, but let's just do that for just to be sure. And I guess we'll replace, or we'll just keep the one line in here, just so that the water does not cascade out. And in the event that we need to fill this in, it will not be a, a daunting process, which we probably will, because there's a little bit of uh, resources down there that I would love to get my grubby little hands on. Uh, like that. Alright, perfect. Now we're back down here, and we got to watch out, because there is some stone protruding from the, uh, the sandstone that we were digging away here. And I don't know why. It's kind of weird just to have a random couple bits of stone sticking up like that. Very, very peculiar. So, we'll have to make this uh, something. Once we are done completely taking all the sand that we need from here, I would like to do something with it. I don't know what that is yet, but something. Let's just do that so that we can get rid of a couple of the random bits and bobs in our inventory. Ooh, we should really go sleep, but I think I'm going to wait until the end of this line before we go and, and sleep a little bit because I don't want to fly back and forth, honestly. Do not want to do it, and so we shall not. Now, that is going to make things considerably more dangerous here, and for you guys, I'm sure that is fine because you love me on the edge, right? I like to see the chance of death at every twist and every turn, and you're just hoping for it. I know you guys. I, I, I know. I get it. Trust me, I'm, I'm like you guys in that regard as well. I love to watch hardcore players in Minecraft because there's always that looming threat of death, impending death, and... That is always fun to see, especially if they have a long world going and you're like, oh, yeah, they're never going to die. And then they die. You're like, oh, my God. And you lose your mind. You know, it's good time. Good time. Good time. But I hope everyone has had a great New Year's. Today will be January the 2nd. So New Year's Eve and New Year's Day has come to a conclusion. And now we are just set in the ways of the world again, right? For another year, we are we're set. 
we are we're here we're poised we're ready to continue and life goes on as normal after those few holidays you're like oh yes we get to spend some time with the family get your toys get the necklace that you always wanted or the scooter or whatever and now we're back to reality and it's a uh, I'm not going to say it's bittersweet, because it, it's not. Like, it is what you make of it. But it does feel weird and out of place now. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean by that, but it just feels out of place now. Like, all of a sudden, we have all of these festivities, these holidays, all of these, these things. And you're like, that's cool. But then, yeah. Oh, God. We have many, many guys here. Oh, we should have slept. Anyway, uh, yeah, you just, it feels weird coming out of the holiday, at least for me. I don't know if it's just a me thing, which it very well could, because I am a weird person. But it does feel like a weird thing. Sleep. Dude, Enderman, you guys freak me the crap out. I just want you to know that. We're not looking at you. We're not looking at you. We're not looking at you. Okay, good. Cacti. Very nice. Looks like we have reached the second domain here, which is pretty cool. Ooh, more sandstone. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and put all of our new found things over here. Look at all these Endermen, dude. There's so many. Um, We're going to go... Who are you shooting at? Oh. <laughs> all right. Sure. So be it. Uh, let's start here, I guess, for the new one. Hello, spider. I realize that you are a speedy boy. I understand your speediness. I, too, am a speedy boy. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I, I, just, like, I listen to the things that I'm saying, and I'm like, God, you're a dork. <laughs> if, if you feel that way, please let me know. Am I a dork? Because I, I definitely feel like I am. Most often than not, I will say. And it is kind of funny and humorous to me because it's just so random and peculiar. But also gives me that quirky vibe that uh, I, I've come to appreciate, honestly. I like being a little bit quirky and all of that. <laughs> Oh man, it's this place is gonna look very, very weird without any sand or sandstone. I will tell you, at some point, we will get to that point where this place just has zero sand, zero sandstone f of less left of us for Jesus, that English left for us to find and conquer in the wilderness here. And when that happens, I think we're gonna build something cool here. Just to maybe remember or make a memento for the sand blocks that were lost in this battle. You know, some, something weird and stupid. Hello, llamas. Hello, there, boys. All right, let's go all the way to the end as we do. Collecting all of the sand and just going kind of methodical. And yes, I did fill that in, even though at some point I will later fill it back out. I know. Weird, but I have to do it. So, yeah. Oh, we are... We're barking up the wrong tree here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Alright, so... This, hopefully, will get us just enough sand and sandstone and all of those things to, uh get to the end here. That would be a very, a very nice treat for us. And then we'll have to begin the long flight back. So you guys will have to let me know what you'd like to talk about in the long flight back once we decide to do that. I know it will be a good long flight, so 
You can talk about just about anything you have your mind set on. Go ahead and feel free to let me know in uh, the comments what you think we should uh, rant and rave about for a little while, you know? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so anyway, inventory is starting to fill up. We got lots of sand and sandstone, and I'm kind of okay with getting as much sand as we are. Because worst comes to worst, we can just turn it into sandstone, right? Like, I know we're not getting much back from it, but it also feels weird to just dig underneath it and have the sand falling on top of me as I do it. So I think it's best to just dig it layer by layer and take a little bit of everything, right? Right. I know you can't respond to me like that, but I if you could, you would say right. And I know it. I know it dearly, I know it deeply. And it is very, very nice. I'm thinking the return flight home is probably like 25-ish or so minutes, depending on if we go the correct direction, which I'm pretty sure is that way, but I'm not 100% sure because we did take a weird long flight to get here, so I am not sure on that anymore. But I'm pretty sure that we put a torch once we first got here. So if that torch is correct, that is the way we came. We'll have to take a look and check, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shoot. Did not mean to fall down there like that. My bad. There we go. All of this is sand, which is, you know, fine. Can we need we need both, so it's not a big issue if we acquire a little bit of sand along the way. Uh, let's take a little bit of that. Good fill up us on carrots. <coughs> Good. Hold on one second. Ugh, delicious. When you're recording. Always make sure to have fruity water nearby. In case you start to choke. Or in case you just can't keep up with the breathing. You gotta have something to wash down the old windpipe. Refresh your soul and uh, get that nice taste of fruitness in your mouth. Oh, baby. And I definitely get a weird fruit water, but I... Uh, I've drank so much of it now that I'm just kind of, like, this is my life. I just drink this fruit water, no matter the cost now. And I kind of love it. I really, really do. All right. So we have, like, about a box and a half left. And this layer is quite obnoxious, I will say. Look at that mixture of sand and sandstone and sand all working cohesively against me. don't like it. Don't like it at all. All right, so we've got this. And I guess we'll just hop down to the next layer here and make our way back. And then we will almost have enough sandstone to uh, finish off all of these boxes. So great news, splendid, wonderful, amazing. And if you can tell, we actually haven't made that much of a dent in this uh, this desert. We'll fly up shortly here. Just kind of show you the perspective, show you how little of a dent we've actually made in this so far. Because I think it'll be kind of interesting to uh, track the progress as we need more and more sandstone coming back here, right? I think it'll be interesting to track that progress. But next time we'll have to make it a much, much longer trip and all of the sand we'll just put in chests here and then we'll come back with all the sandstone, right? That way if we have, we need sand, we have it, but we really, really do need the sandstone more than anything else here. And I, I don't feel like converting all of this because I know we're going to use it, right? So that's how it's going to go. But it does work in pretty, pretty nicely, I think. These layers make it nice and satisfying while we're doing it. And also, we don't have to worry about missing any blocks or anything like that. Uh, there are these gigantic pools, however, that are located below us, which is kind of unfortunate because 
it really makes it so we have to fill in the entirety of each of these ponds before we are able to continue with getting our sand and sandstone. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Alright, we got sand. Beautiful. Got sandstone. Oh, not sand. That sand. So we are on our final box here. Got some sand and a sandstone, right? And we can get there pretty quickly, but I think we're going to save it till next episode because we are actually out of time. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys. I hope you had a good new year, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.